All right, let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Jeff Frenieri. Let's take it outside and see how it looks. It was nice, a little cooler today. It, it was cooler, and, uh, you know, it's been beautiful to just be anywhere across the Bay Area. So uh, that is kind of part of the problem. We want to take you over here to the weather wall. And uh, what we're really going to be looking at, at least as we start off this evening, is the drought. Well, it has been awesome to, again, get out across the Bay Area. Uh, our rain season started on October the 1st, and we still haven't seen anything just yet. So I know a lot of you are saying where is the rain? There's no storms in that immediate future. So I wanted to get us the update on what's happening with the drought. And you can see the latest drought monitor here shows in that dark red color from central to parts of Southern California. That's exceptional drought, including Fresno. Now the Bay Area you'll notice is under severe drought. We're not under that worst category because we did have some stronger storms move in last year. Uh, but drought, I tell you, especially over the past 20 years is nothing new to us. Look at this stat here and what you're going to be able to see is 18 out of 22 years. Yes, 18 out of 22. We have been in some sort of a drought and here's the other thing. This is now our third year of drought third year of La Nina. So there's a connection there. When you get La Nina, it helps to set off weather extremes. So we go through these extended periods of drying. We get some strong rain in here, and then we also get, uh, you know, more drying coming our way. So with La Nina here, it's definitely helping to add into that drought. So we're kind of all stuck with it at this point until we get some strong storms in here. So with that said, there's some tips here, just some stuff to kind of think about. Uh, smart timer for your water. Check for any kind of leaks around your house. Low water use plants are always good. Check for rebates. I saw East Bay Mud has rebates up to $2,000. You can get more on all of our climate stories. Just head to NBCBear.com and click on the climate section. Let's go ahead and get you into that microclimate forecast tonight. And I want to show you what we can expect as we roll through tomorrow morning. And we do have more clouds, more fog back. It's going to be pretty thick. Temperatures here in the 50s to start. Have it down to the East Bay at 54, San Francisco 53, and those low clouds in a chilly 49 in the North Bay. So daytime highs as we roll through tomorrow, uh, really going to have a hard time struggling up with that fog. You'll see how widespread it is here uh, right over the North Bay, East Bay, even some of that for the South Bay and coast body drizzle. Now we get 99% of this clearing on back as we roll through tomorrow afternoon, except if you're headed to our beaches, that's where that fog is going to linger for us. So daytime highs as we roll through tomorrow, going to feel like fall. Check it out. 75 here in Santa Rosa, 80 in Concord, 74 San Jose, 60s in Oakland. Also right there from San Francisco to Half Moon Bay. Seven day forecast will show we get clouds increasing by next week. We're seeing a system offshore. No locked in rainfall chances with it, but I wanted to let you know I'm watching out for this. If it moves a little bit more off towards the east, we definitely could see some rainfall chances pick up, but it's nothing big right now. Right here in San Francisco, 60s for those daytime highs and through the inland valleys. We're dropping it down to the 70s as we hit Saturday and Sunday. I mean, can you believe it? 18 out of 22 years that drought has been with us. I know that's stunning. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff. You got it.